Hey, what's happening, gamers? Uh, it's K Wife here, and today we're doing another amazing uh, member select stream. So thank you so much, Pokewood Theater, for sponsoring today's stream. And we are taking a look at World of Final Fantasy uh, Maxima. World of Final Fantasy. So thank you guys so much for watching today, and special thanks to our uh, members and our ultimate members. Also, everybody over on Pat uh, Patreon and everybody, um, thank you guys so much. If you want to become a member, you can hit the join button just like this, and uh, it's pretty easy. You can uh, pick the tier that works for you. So, thank you so much, Pokewood Theater, for being an ultimate member, one of our longest all-time uh, ultimate members. And um, because of you guys, we are able to continue to have Kaming's Let's Plays on the air and continue to produce content when uh, they actually took most of our videos out of the search engine because of FTC. So thank you guys so much for being members, uh, patrons, all that. Uh, so thankful. I cannot even thank you enough. Thank you so much, Pokey with Theater, today. Yay! So Luke um, has been up for probably over 30 hours, so he's asleep now. And we are going to check out World of Final Fantasy. So if I didn't already say it, today's stream is sponsored by Pokewood Theater. Thank you so much. And yes, I know I repeat points a lot. I'm not as concise as Luke. Prologue. Awake mm -mm. at last. Okay, so I guess this is the story. Time to wake up. <sighs> oh no, we fell. Am I gonna make it? 
The boss hates when I'm late. Are we in some weird fusion of London, Paris, and Venice? Uh, possibly. Then again, it's not like business has picked up any. All I noticed was that he has a huge coffee table, which... Luke has a huge coffee Maybe table, which I don't like. Sandwiches along with the coffee. I like ha I like having room in the room. Like I like having room to walk around and like do stuff. Like I don't like having a t coffee table take up the entire room. It bothers me. So now I'm already triggered. <laughs> All right. So again, if you guys are just coming in, this is a member select stream. Uh, brought to you by Pokey with Theater. Thank you so much, Pokey with Theater. You are amazing. And we are taking a look at World of Final Fantasy Maxima. The streets sure are quiet today. And uh, again, uh, usually Luke doesn't have to explain why I'm not here, but I, uh, I usually explain if Luke's not here because he's always here, but he has been up for a long time. Uh, he's been up like all night doing Arkham stuff. Okay. So that's why he's not here. He's going to sleep. Sorry, I hope you haven't been waiting long. Huh? The customer. Right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. Oh, that's, one cup that's of the jar. kind of girl I am. And I'll get you one of the big jars. Five sugars at Dunkin' Donuts isn't enough. Has nobody made the coffee yet? I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Wow, she's like the nicest customer in the world. Time is not an issue. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of sugar. a furry Have beast you on your head this morning? well yeah i mean i'm looking right at you aren't i and there's that customer what oh, oh hello you didn't even see her dude uh, yeah but ah uh, look come with me right no. now easy So unprofessional in front of the customer. There's nobody here. So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just I mean no one. Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? 
You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, rain manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. But is that your real name? Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What <laughs> Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the duck! Huh? Uh, hey, uh, hey! You hey, can't just uh, leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm the here to help out. Does anyone to have any questions? Huh. Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I see why in a crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused. Uh, hey, Lon, uh, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset, Let's too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. But I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You'll live the much longer. Yeah, Lon, you shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... Forget coffee, we just want sugar. You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Thank you for the super chat, Ed. And yeah, that sounds great. Some sugar with some coffee in it. Barrage keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct. Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles. Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them. You were masters of them. Powerful living illusions known as mirages. In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you and those are the seven strongest mirages of all. With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world. Oh. So... We could have ruled the world because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours, and you can then make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's then try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? Glorious combat. Around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends. 
depends on the what you're trying to do. So make the sure you use them wisely. Oh, brother. Oh, dear. Here's where it all comes down to it. Watching the cutscenes was easy. Now, <laughs> now it comes down to... Alright, it's battle time. Characters take turns based on agility. Faster character will get to act faster. Uh, each face represents a different character. When a character's icon reaches the top of the bar, they can select the action to perform. Alright, yes. And we played a little bit of Final Fantasy Worlds before, so I think I can kind of remember doing this. Use the right stick to switch between characters who are ready to act. Uh, Alright, right stick between characters. Abilities are assigned to buttons automatically in order you learn them, but you can also customize your shortcuts to the game menu. Find the setup that works best for you. Great. Alright, I guess we'll attack. Yeah, that's the way to the do it. Alright, certain commands like magic and other abilities cost attack points to use. Characters recover AP when their turns come around or by successfully exploiting enemy weaknesses. Most mirages have weaknesses you can exploit for bonus damage and AP. Discovering them will give you a huge advantage, so don't be afraid to try things out. Uh. Okay, so they have weaknesses you can exploit. Okay. Well, I don't have anything else to do but attack right now, I don't think. So I have to wait till the square reaches. Oh, wait. Oh, he can attack me. Oh, oof. Uh, I don't know if I can use any other combat stuff. Oh no! A little squirrel hit me. I knew that you had talent. Yeah, I defeated a little tiny animal. There are three battles: active, semi-active, and wait. In active mode, time keeps flowing regardless of whether or not input commands. Battles move quickly and without interruption. If you put in wait mode, time stops until you input a command for your character whose turn is up. This gives you a chance to carefully consider each action. If you can change your battle mode setting via the configuration menu, if you find active mode too challenging, try sticking with wait mode until you have grown more accustomed to combat. Okay, the classic battle mode. Here is a useful tip. During battle, press L to open a more complete list of commands. Some, uh, to some of you, this classic menu style may look familiar. There are some commands. For example, items that can be selected from the menu. If you have chosen active mode, time continuously fl will flow while the menu is still open, so be very careful. One last thing, you can pick and choose targets when using the full menu. This comes in handy when you want more control over the fight. Alright, so... How did I open that menu again? That menu thing? Darn it, I thought I pressed L or something. There. All right, all right. I think I've seen enough for one to tussle. Yeah! We should have just taken the little creature and put him outside instead of beating him up in the, in the coffee house. Also, I feel like our, our coffee house would get shut down if we actually had a furry animal in it because that'd be a, a violation of the health code, but okay. Yeah! Thank you guys for all the kind words. I hope everyone's having a great day. Again, this is a... The two of you were unsurpassed. No, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude. Oh, wait. Seriously? Dude, the seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait... Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the mirages too? But I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely on the affected. What? Listen, let me show you something.
there, just beyond this door, <laughs> there's another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay. So, like... You're saying, whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> <sighs> Okay, let's go for it. Thank you so much, Fernando, for the super chat. Um, World of Final Fantasy, Max, hype. Glad you're giving this game a look. And thanks for Pokewood for the stream and Coffee with Sugar, because why not, Koopo? Yay, thank you so much, Fernando. Thanks so much for the super chat. All right, and we are going to save our progress. Might as well. Okay, so apparently it is not a squirrel, but a Chapter fox. All right, thanks. Thank you, guys. Land of the Lilikin. So this must be Grimoire. What? to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. Okay, so in Grimoire, the smaller people are called Lickin, Lilikin, and tall people are called Giants. Twins can switch freely between these forms to change rain, press L and A. To change lawn, press L and Y. Though so you're free to strut around um, as either size, you will start combat in your current form, so it's never a bad idea to have stacks set up for both situations. Okay. Great. I remember the stacks are like uh, the any or your party can stack on top of each other or something. Tips you see in the panel are never out of reach. You can view them again by selecting the tip jar from the game menu. In fact, you might even notice Anna Kroos has slipped a few extra tidbits in there that don't appear during the course of the game. So remember to check the tip jar now, every now and then. I guess we should head straight down this path. It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? You know, just this once. What? I'm not gonna get lost. Yet. Okay. So I guess we'll beat oh, up woodland hello. creatures. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chick. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. I'm ready for combat. You're going down, birdie. Looks like I have the all spark there. So what now? First, you're the going to need this. 
It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the called a prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new of the Mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special Mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new Mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time, the mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the Choco Chick, then we use your prism. All right, and just if you guys are coming in, uh, this is a um, member select stream brought to you by Pokewood Theater, one of our uh, longtime Ultimate members. So thank you so much, Pokewood Theater. All right, we are going to continue with this imprisoning, imprison, imprisoning mirages. In order to imprison, imprison a mirage, you need an empty prism compatible with that mirage. But there's some good news, Anacros will provide you with your first compatible prism whenever you find a new Mirage. Huh? Why doesn't Anna Cross just fork over the whole lot of them right now? Come on, where's the fun in that? Besides, she doesn't do bulk orders. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry, you'll be able to befriend almost every Mirage you meet eventually, but be sure to take the time to get to know your friends that you have before looking for the new ones. Oh, okay. Once a prism holds a mirage, it is known as a prismarium. A mirage's prismarium allows you to use the mirage in battle. If you look closely at a prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside of it. They're like snow globes, but be nice and don't try to shake them up. So to recap, you start with an empty prism, then you imprisoning, you, you start imprisoning a mirage in the prism that turns into the prismarium, and the prismarium lets you add the mirage to your stacks and use it in battle. Even if you fail to imprison a mirage, you will not lose the prism. There's no need to hold back. Good luck. Oh, I won't I won't waste a prism. Okay. If you press plus during battle, a window will appear uh open containing info on the mirages you are facing. And with a Libra attack, you can see even more detailed information. You can switch between the mirages with L and R. Each Mirage is strong or weak against certain elements or status ailments. Learn to identify the following symbols when looking at a Mirage data. Alright, I have that completely memorized. Memorizing now? No, I don't. Nullifies enemy attacks, absorbs enemy attacks. Okay, uh, nullifies, absorbs... Oh my gosh! Elements and status symbols. In addition to status symbols, characters sometimes undergo positive and negative changes in battle. These are usually triggered by abilities and are sometimes represented by the following symbols. Stun, Protect, Shell, Reflect, Regan, Haste, Bravery, Faith, Co. K.O. Co. Strength, Defense, Magic. Okay. Stuff. Okay. I guess I'll figure it out. Use physical text to create a prism... Pris... Prismtunity. Use physical text to create a prism prismtunity. Create requires a choco chick prism. Do I have a choco chick prism? I hope. Well, I guess we can try imprisoning. Ah. Okay. It won't let me yet. Okay. Ah! And we'll tap. Use the imprism command to the claim that mirage for your own. Go on, the select the imprism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. Ah, creative imprism tunity. You can, you can't just walk up, you can't just walk up to mirages and imprison them. To collect a mirage, you need to knock it into the prism tunity state first, of course, duh. Mirages won't let their guard down forever, so don't miss a prism tunity when it arrives. Snatch up that prism tunity when it's there. Sometimes all you need to create a prism tunity is a big heavy club to clobber small animals with. But the brute force approach doesn't always work. Try putting a club down and thinking outside the box. Try maybe giving them some food or petting them first. Prism Tunity requires vary from Mirage to Mirage, but Libra can often provide you with a good hint. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm in school. Okay. Just 
gonna attack me! Uh, it's fine. Okay. Um, I don't think I even imprisoned. I just attacked. Oh, maybe I did imprison. Hey, then look, you did it! Now that the choco chick is inside the prismarium, it's yours to the keep. It's mine to the keep. Wow, everybody is talking like fire, uh, fire star, starfire. Yay! We did it. We the did it. Okay, so... <laughs> A little chocobo that loves to waddle around. These feathery friends love to headbutt things. This is fine because a chocobo's eggshell never cracks twice. <laughs> Should we name our mirage? Let's name it Pokewood. All right, there we go. There we go. Yes, the founder of this stream has been named this little chick. All right, looks good to me. Queen, queen. Yeah. Great to see everybody coming into the chat. Hope you. Yeah. I hope you guys are having a great day. I can see the Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty than neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that choco chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even the decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. Okay, should I stack to stack or not to stack? When you stack with mirages, the stats such as HP of all the stack members are combined. Are the combined. Your abilities may also transform. Stacking with the right buddy can give you access to new and powerful skills and the magic. You're always more powerful in the stack than you are fighting apart. But there is one downside. Weaknesses are also shared among the whole stack, which can get you into the trouble. Use the stack setup screen in the game menu to choose which mirages will fight alongside you. Or is it on top of you? You should set up stacks for both your forms, Lilykin and Giant. Okay, that way you're ready for battle no matter what size that you are using to explore. A stack can be used up to three members high. There is one simple rule, smaller goes on top of bigger. Try it out and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Lawn, Ray, and their mirages are assigned sizes. S, M, and L. So small, medium, large in your stacks. Large always goes on the bottom. A medium size will go in the middle and small characters go on top. Easy, right? When Rain and Lon are large-sized giants, mirages will always stack above them, but when the twins are medium-sized, things can get kind of crazy. Suddenly, they can ride on top of large-sized mirages and put small-sized mirages on top of their heads at the same time. 
the way, you two can the switch between giant size and lilikin size. Depending oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the be in lilikin form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. Okay, how do I do my... Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so... Well, why can't I put the bird on top of... Oh, no, I don't want that at all. No. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so we'll wait till we have more more characters. <sighs> there we go. Okay, she's there. There we go! Little Pokewood bird. Very cute. Okay. Alright, well, we'll just keep going for now. We just have one prism and we have tons of items. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep going. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we going to do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. All right, sorry, I was taking a sip of my sugar with coffee. Gimme, gimme! You can see a luster leaf reflected in his so eye. So where do we find that? Oh, he wants a luster leaf. That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board. Oh my goodness. Using the Mirage Boards to power up. Each Mirage has its own Mirage Board. A special chart that is packed with new powers and potential. Ability stat boots each space on the board holds a new surprise. You can unlock the spaces using the SP skill points your Mirages earn when they level up. Some spaces on the Mirage Boards cannot be unlocked until you meet special conditions. But with a little work, they are all within reach. Mirages that have learned the stroll ability will appear alongside rain and lawn in the field. So you can explore Grimory together. Grimoire together. If you are accompanied by multiple mirages with the stroll ability, you can cycle between them with the arrow keys. Sometimes strolling mirages will discover useful items. Try bringing different mirages to different places. You might be surprised by what they find. Okie dokie. So, uh... Oh my goodness. Abilities? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. That's unlocked. Sure. Oh, I don't have any skill points for that. Alright, and then maybe we can unlock a uh, little Pokey Woods <laughs> Mirage board. Uh, we learned a skill. 
Oh yeah, we learned two skills. Okay. All right, so we learned a couple skills. So those are our mirage boards. I don't know what the tip jar, jar is. Oh, these are tips. Okay, gotcha. In case you forget everything that they told you. Okay. All right, so let's explore. Hey, the choco chicks come along for a stroll. It's little pokey wood. <laughs> let's go for a stroll, shall we? La 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 la. Let's go for a stroll. Um, I don't really know what we're supposed to find. We're supposed to find that weird leaf thing. Let's see if we unlock other, uh, Mirage. I think I might have, I have other skills I can unlock for her. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Alright, I don't know. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, they don't let me do the mirage boards for the humans. Okay, so let's uh, look for the weird leaf. It has to be around here somewhere. Oh. Oh, what did Pokewood find? Huh? It found something. Luster leaf. Yay! You have found it. Now, try examining the gimme golem one more at a time. I have found it. Gimme, gimme. Nah. All right, fine. We'll give it. To This game is so cute! Whoa! It vanished! That's so cool! I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed! Yep, yep! With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish! And Mirage Boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities! You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms! So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage Boards! Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. Hype, Koopa. That's right, Kylie. Awesome. So great to see everybody coming into the chat. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. And we're doing a member select stream. Um, so, Tama, I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimmore don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle the out and go back to their own worlds. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like, right there, on the tip of my tongue. Whoa! Let's get away from there, Koopo. Phoenix down! Now I actually know what that is! So again, this uh, member select stream uh, uh, with our from our ultimate member, Pokewood Theater. So thank you so much again, Pokewood. And thank you guys, everybody, for watching. Um, for all of our people viewing in the chat and also all of our members, patrons. Thank you guys so much. This is the Cotta Mercury. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are... Shall we Mirages? Say? Oh man, let's go catch him. But... Uh oh, where do we go now? Uh, this one's not very nope. cute. Merc Rifts, our home to strange, rare, and 
usually very dangerous mirages. If you want to explore one, make sure that you're fully prepared before diving in. I don't think I am. Most murkriffs will be tough for you to handle when you first find them. If you do end up getting whomped, then come back later after you've gotten stronger. Wow, this Hello, is going to be bad. Why did you... Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside murkriffs, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. Oh no, Koopo! Um. I thought I attacked. Oh, darn it. I'm. I did the wrong button. Oops. This is bad, Koopo! Come on! Oh, I accidentally pressed B when I was trying to press X. It was- I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking- I think I was thinking the PS4 controller. Darn it! Oh no. Did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then the whisk you to safety. Although, it costs me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time in the city. Oh no! You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Oh, the yeah! And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself, silk. Yes, the sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> mm, Lon. All right. When the entire party is defeated, Tama will whisk everyone back to safety. The safety of Ninewood Hills. But there's no penalty except for that she loses one of her lives. But... You will have to fight your way back to where you were before. Be careful, though. If you're inside the threshold of a powerful mirage, Tama won't be able to save you. It's game the over. Hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real question is how she got here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. She must have experience crossing between planes. Hmm, I have no idea what that means, but okay. I'm guessing this is the safe point. The characters are so cute! Well, I guess we could go back in. Um, I don't think we need to go back into the plaza, so... How do we get back where we need to go? Depending on how things go in Grimoire, you two might give rise to a few mediums of your own down the line. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking aloud there. 
Oop, sorry. This game is so cute, so... so... She's over at North Promenade. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for introducing us to this game, Pokewood, and hopefully some of you guys watching might want to pick this game up. Um, looks pretty cool. Don't actually know where I'm going right now. Oh, wow. She's so tiny. Is she a... Uh, what's the word again? A lilikin? Chocobo Golina! Oh. <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? Oh, you can call me Choco Latte. Okay then. I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right. Care to shop? I've got the goods. Choco Poco Chain. Okay, Choco Latte has a habit of picking up all sorts of strange items. And those items can be yours if you're ready to fork over enough of Grimoire's currency, which is known as Gil. The Choco Latte's Mart's selection is always improving, so when you visit Nine Woods Hill, don't miss the opportunity to stop by and see what's in stock. Well, let's see what we have. We have... Um... I only have $100, so... That's fine. Now I have seven. Oh, wow. Nope. I don't know why I spent all the money on just one potion. What kind of operation is this? It's called a shop, dear. You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco connection. Okay, maybe I'll see if she has anything else besides potions. Why not stop? Welcome to the Choco Latte Mart. All right, so she has antidote. I mean, I already have, uh... Oh, I only have one potion and I can sell for 25. I think. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. I need my potion. So I have one Phoenix down and one potion. Okay. Yeah. So hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? I think so. I would have liked to see Luke's reaction to all the cuteness, but um, who knows? Maybe I'll do this on my channel or something. This is a very cute game. Working on it. Uh huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacrone made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. 
Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh, yeah. This prismarian belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. <laughs> It's a long list of terms and conditions. Anacros has entrusted Seraphie with a prism case that automatically stores all the prismariums you collect. You can use it to select which mirages you take with you on your adventures. The prism case is also where you are permitted to transfig your mirages. Talk about a handy contraption! Seraphie keeps the prism case in Nine Wood Hills. You can access it by talking to her directly. But the case is also at your disposal in Grimoire. Just select it from the menu at Gates or Save Crystals. Obtained a Seraphone. The Seraphone is a special device you can use to call Seraphie and access your prism keys remotely. Seraphie is not too keen on leaving the Nine Wood Hills, but thanks to the Seraphone, you can still swap in mirages while out on the go. Just keep in mind that each Seraphone can only be used once because Seraphie doesn't feel like getting off her butt. Uh, because data security is important, of course. Use a Sylph Prismarium. Oh my goodness. A tiny wind pixie that makes its home in forests and other places of natural beauty. The Sylphs are good friends of Seraphie. In fact, she sometimes meets up with them to play cards and gossip. So be sure to treat them with the same boundless affection Seraphie expects you to feel for her. Uh, we'll just call her Sylph. That's fine. I can't think of a name. Yeah! Alright, I guess we'll go this way. Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes. You handle things now. Oh, okay, I will. It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place <clears throat> down tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphie guarantee. Huh? Sit down. But, she but where are you going now? Me. Oh, well. Somewhere uh, what else. What do you mean? Me. Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Uh, son. Look, we really need to Wait, ask you so some many things. <laughs> no, no, huh? you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? <laughs> But you've barely done anything. Oh, besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire, and light okay. banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science. Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> bye, Hasta bye, bye, bye. Vista. She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots... She seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Krell for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. Pretty the much. Okay, you can speed up a conversation 
Um, are you the impatient type? Here's a fun trick. During cutscenes, you can hold down R to quickly speed through conversations. Oh, not good enough for you? Why is it not good enough for you? Then you can always press plus, then X to skip the scene altogether. No, we don't want to do that. And... Pokey would say, the pixie fairy is the lazy. Yeah, probably... <laughs> Um, of course, if you start skipping scenes with abandon, it won't be long before you have zero idea what's even going on. But then again, this is your second, if this is your second trip through Grimoire, you may want to get right down to business. You've always got the adventure log to fall back on. All the right. Let's the go! I think we want to go to Whispering Woods. I think. Okay. Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh, uh, yeah, I want names. Alright, so next time we actually get into battle, I'll remember to press X and not the other button. Okay. So, speed up battles. Tired of the grind? Then here are a few tips that you're sure to like. Hold R during battles to fast forward and make time fly. Like a speeding Tama. You can also enable auto battle mode with a single press of minus. The party will continue to fight without any input from you. When playing in active mode, time continues to flow while you choose your commands, which means enemies will keep attacking while you fast forward. Also in auto battle mode, party members merely repeat the last commands you gave them. They don't really make choices for you, so keep an eye on your actions. Targeting with the basic menu. When using a basic menu, enemies are targeted automatically for you. However, you can always override this and use the command cross to ma manually select a target. Ha! Let's see if we can get this guy in a prism. Come on! Be the captured! We did it! We did it! Oh wow, Pokewood gained the most! Good job, Pokewood! Fantastic job! Great to see everybody coming to the chat. I hope you guys are having a great day today. And again, this is a member select stream from Pokewood. Great to see everybody here. Fernando, Brady Power, Ruben, Pokewood, Rocket Raccoon, Chad Akarui, Trolls of Green Dragon, uh, Gerald, EDMG7, Alex, um, Mage Wolf, and um, uh, uh, Simons, uh, uh, Jacob, Marie Hauntedal, David, Woomer, and uh, Ruben, everybody, Twisted Wolf, and everybody hanging out in the chat. Great to see you guys. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Again, thank you so much to Pokewood Theater. For sponsoring this stream and making this stream possible. Thank you to all our members and our ultimate members and our patrons for making it possible for Kaming's Let's Plays to still stay on the air. So because of you guys, you're making it possible for us to continue to make videos and we're so thankful to you guys. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to use the default for now and I was going to try to... Maybe I can... I think I could name them later. I don't know. But... Okay. The XP experience you earn in battle is split between all participating party members. Mirage is there accompanying you but didn't fight in the battle will receive a flat 8% of the total XP. However, Mirages in your prism case get nothing. Make sure to bring Mirages along with you if you are trying to make them the stronger. So maybe we should switch out some of our mirages, but oh well. Oh, what did you see, Pokewood? You found a chimeric wig. Okay, that's good. We found a wig. Alright. 
That's interesting. All right, so we both have mirages on our heads. We already have one of these, so I feel like we can just literally just defeat these guys. I don't think we need any more. Sorry, Pokewood. We're gonna defeat your brothers or sisters here. So, I don't know how to do auto battle. Let's see if it does it. This battle is so intense! Dun -dun -dun -dun. Going down! That was a good fight. Good job. We're so cute. Oh, I, I didn't get the cuteness. Yay! Everybody in our party is so cute. So cute is ridiculous. We got three potions. That should be helpful. Dude, it's on. Let's make this good. All right, we are ready to go. Oh, poor little chocobo. So, uh, probably we'll go till I don't know, ten, uh, nine thirty, ten o'clock. Like, probably won't make this, like, more than two hours. Uh, but we'll try to get somewhere important. We'll try to do something good in this game. Besides just watching the beginning dialogue. I'll do my best. Yay! So little Sylph and Moo leveled up. So... Oh, so we can, um, I mean, we can see if we can actually, I don't think we're going to go there. Because last time we battled that person and they, oh my goodness. Looks like we have another battle. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, we got this. Squirrel battle. <laughs> Defeat the squirrels at any cost. Oh, the squirrels are vicious. <laughs> it's hard. I, I want to, like, be the giant people, but it's like, I kind of want to be the, uh, the little chibi characters, because they're so cute. No trouble at all. Victory! But maybe I'm more powerful as a giant, so... Alright, so... All right, so let's. Um, oh, thank you for the super chat, Matt and Do Gaming. Aw, thanks so much. This best gaming couple on YouTube, Luke and Amber Gaming. Aw, thanks so much for the kind words. Thank you so much for the super chat, uh, Matt and Do Gaming. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Aw. Aw. Well, uh. The other Amber and Matt are also extremely cute gaming couple as well. <laughs> I won't hold back. Right, let's do this. <laughs> We're not holding oh back. Good All right. Job. So I am really nervous about going by this one spot. So we are gonna see if we can try to. Um, like, change who we have on top of our- we'll keep our characters there. Okay, so... Okay, so let's try our stack setup.
All right, so I guess we could try this sylph, but I don't really know if. All right, so our magic and strength would go down. Um, I guess I can try that. And... Actually, no, we'll leave Pokewood. Well, I don't know. We'll... We'll, we kind of switch that up for now, so I'm just going to do that for now. We'll probably switch it back. But actually, let's go to our little Mirage board. Let's take a look at Pokewood's Mirage board. Oh, we don't have that. Let's see if we have anybody else's, this little squirrel guy. Squirrel learned some moves. Okay. Uh. <sighs> Alright, so we're just switching it up a tiny bit. Um. I don't know if she needs to learn any moves. Okay. All right. So we'll that we'll go with that for now. Uh. All right. So I'm just gonna avoid this. Avoid. 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 Ah no. Mon, don't touch it this time. I know. I know. But could we see all this stuff before? Now that you fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you the happen to know some Libra magic. You can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Lom. Uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? Okay, so we're gonna avoid that. Avoid... Hopefully, we'll move on to the next area. Yay!
Kawaii. Chapter two. Foretold by prophecy. All right, so we made it to chapter two. Um, maybe we'll do a little bit in chapter two, and if Luke has to actually cut that intro or that uh, intro out so that we don't get this copyright claim, then he might have to do that. But. Oh well, I just wanted to show it um, because it looked awesome, so. Alright, so I hope we're almost out of the woods. Hey sis, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. Huh? <gasps> huh? Oh. We're supposed to get on? Absolutely! All the aboard! Whoa, dude! That's right, Chad. With that, another Let's Play is complete. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh. oh, hey, sis. Let's park it here. Sure. since we've had new passengers. Huh? 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 Right! Tickets, please! All right, Cactar <gasps> Conductor. <gasps> a Mirage? What? It talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a Mirage. But I'm also the train conductor, so... Tickets, please! The conductor? All right. Tama can talk, then why not? But the train tickets that we need are right the here. Right the hell? Wow! Semi lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey. Where did those tickets come from? In a crow made sure, I was provided with everything we could ever the need. Yep, yep. Uh, okay then. So why a semi-lifetime pass? And not a lifetime one? Obtain the semi-lifetime pass. Have you visited the twins' room yet? Inside you will find stuff. This place rules! Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Hey, Tama, 
Why don't you hit your ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon. Huh? If I may ask, would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh... Ah! Uh, Mirage is from uh -huh. the Ocean Army! Uh -huh. Bahamu? What's a Bahamu? Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their employ. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, wait up! <laughs> uh, Characters are so cute. Oh my gosh, we have to take these these fools down. All right, you Bahamus, what's your beef, huh? You even make it sound like they're made of beef. <sighs> yeah, Lon, don't you know it's at stake? I kind of forgot how to open my items menu, but I think it's L, so. Oh, we got one of them down! Some of this Final Fantasy music sounds so familiar to me. But, um, well, obviously, it's probably familiar to everyone. I couldn't pr imprison it. Imprison it. Inside the twins' room, you can find the Mirage Manual on the Who's Who. Whoa! What the? What just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that Mirage? Didn't you see the light that's surrounding it? That means it's the beholding to another keeper. Be what? Be o? Be smell? Uh, no! What I mean is. The Mirage already has another the Master. So until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you want to be able to claim it for yourself. Okay. Imprisonable... Imprisonment... Imprisonable Mirages. Some Mirages already belong to another Master. If you look carefully, you can see the chains holding their souls captive. Yay! Unfortunately, these mirages cannot be imprisoned, no matter how hard you try. Defeating a mirage's master will break its chains, allowing you to imprison it. The problem, of course, is finding the master. Oh, fire whoever wrote that little hook in. Lon, it's Nay on the fourth wall stuff. <laughs> Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Bahamutian soldiers? But they drove the mirages off for us. It's just like the prophecy, word for word. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. Please, may I speak with you? Huh? Oh, sure. The two of you, you've traveled here from another world. Oh. Well, I wouldn't... I mean... Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're Mirage Keepers, too. Well, Lon, don't tell her! Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm, like, exuding all over. Lon, you don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly stop by Castle Cornelia? So, let's find this Casa Cornelius place. Doesn't Casa mean up? It's gotta be higher up. Well, you've got the direction correct. Even if the rest of that was completely off the base. That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. I love this old school Final Fantasy music. And yes, I was cheering at the fact that souls were enslaved. Oh my gosh. Yay! Well, as I live and breathe, I've been around for quite a long time, but 
I've never in my life seen a giant who wasn't part of the Bahamutian army. Well, as I live in... Right! Tickets, please! What's up, guys? Nice armor. Leave them alone, please. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first, I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the in-standing types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that in-standing isn't an actual the word. <laughs> oh, forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy, too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like that Mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors, giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... wreak two futures? Reek, huh? Oh, man! Tama, this prophecy's about you! What are you even talking about? There's nothing more relevant than the way I smell! You think that's <laughs> I'm dumber than you! I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. Oh. So, the giants from the hills, as in, what hills? I guess it's one of those believe what you want to things. But yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Um,. Do you mind if I ask you a slightly <laughs> awkward question? <laughs> if this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages in Grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y Yes! Uh, dude. Whoa. King Brandalus's herald lieutenants, known as Seguardus and Pelinor, command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of ages past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but... If the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, 
Wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you have done so well, you will understand. All right, then. Now then, may I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, at one time we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down the what? Uh, I think what he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Because we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages huh? have been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. Th that's cool. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry! Wait a minute, why just me? What did I do? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. This, like, brother-sister dynamic is too much. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go somewhere where we very looks well... Like we'll need to wind our way down to reach the exit. Seems that way. What a funny way to build a town. Oh, it's not that this strange to the people of Grimoire. Hey, while we're here, why don't we ask around town and then see what we can find out? Where we very well may end up dead, I guess. So I guess we can talk to some people in the town. But yeah, this is very cute. Great to see everybody coming into the chat. And uh, yeah, those of you guys who remember, I did play this before. Um, or not this one, but the other uh, Final Fantasy Worlds. It was a lot of fun. The important thing is uh, what am I gonna do? Oh, say, you wouldn't happen to be the giants from the hills by any chance, would you? You see, there's a situation I'm dealing with where I could really use your assistance, since you must know Mirage so well. Could I trouble you to please bring me an earth hammer? If you could, I would be forever in your debt. Yep, and if you guys are just coming in, um, this is a member select stream from Pokewood Theater. So thank you again so much, Pokewood. And, um, uh, yeah, I'm, we've been streaming for about an hour and a half, so we probably will go to, I don't know, a good stopping point. Um, so something like that. And, uh, so far, I, this is a very, very cute game. I feel kind of bad that I stopped playing the last one of these. I guess this is like another extension of it or something like that. But yeah, I don't know why uh, Pokewood, why they call it Giants with a J. I'm not sure. Thank you again for doing this. <laughs> Wait. Thank you again for Alright, so that's our quest that we took on. <laughs> I knew it! So Giants really can make themselves I guess so. If we cooperated with other powerful countries, those Federation goons probably wouldn't attack us anymore. Come to think of it, our neighbors in Saronia also stand against the Federation. And then again, if we join forces with another country, we'd just become even more obvious targets. It makes it tough for the princess to reach out. No 
wonder if there aren't any powerful countries or organizations out there that we could ask for help. Um, that guy has a fish on his head, but okay. So the giants from the hills weren't just a legend after all. Closers. That would mean, according to the prophecy. Now, now, quit racing about before you trip and break your neck. stand opposed to the Federation have abandoned their hometowns and fled here to Cornelia. Do you think that could be the reason that the Bahamutian army has become so much more aggressive lately? Uh, maybe? Oh, you know what I can't wrap my head around? There are actually people out there who've agreed to go along with those Federation tyrants. I don't know why anyone even trusts what they have to say. Exactly do we do that? You already the saw. Just walk up to the right place, and that's all it takes. But surely a means of transportation that handy must come with a catch? No, the catch! You can use the gate as the little or much as you like. What's more, time in here and time in Grimoire, they don't both the flow at the same speed. So whatever crisis is going to down, you can put it on hold and kick back here till you're ready. Wow! It's like magic! Yeah, really irresponsible magic. Just imagine revisiting any place we've been! We'll call it the Super Porta Party! Are you the kidding? That name definitely gets an F. He deserves an H. An H? But grades only go down to F! Extra, extra, read all about it. What, what do you the one here, Seraphy? In case you're wondering, you can use the prism case anywhere you find one of these gates. Oh, I think I would get it now. Gates are the what you meant when you talked about a strong connection. Huh? Oh, right, right, that's the gist of it. <laughs> Okay, um, throughout Grimoire, you will find shining gates, like the one you see here. Approaching a gate will connect it to the main gate in Ninewood Hills. Once it's linked up, you can use the gate to travel anywhere you've already been. Exit gates are special one-way doors for leaving dungeons, so they're not accessible from the main gate in the Ninewood Hills. As you progress through the story, a chronicle of your travels is recorded in the game menus adventure log. If you haven't dropped by Grimoire in a while, this is a great way to catch up. Select mini adventure, mini ventures to have a peek at quests and errands you've undertaken. Naturally, you can stop by to check your progress, but you can also collect quest rewards here too. Yeah. Well, using defend command, you can prevent something okay. or other. To the Nether Nebula. Okay, that was interesting. So we can access those gates. I think we already talked to that person. Talk to this person and their little chocobo. <laughs> chocobo feathers, you scared me. Um, you're not with the Bahamutian army, are you? You see, the Bahamutian soldiers are all giants like you. That train is used to carry wood from the forest? Not only that, mages in training use it all the time, too. Oh. 
Okay, save crystals form naturally in dangerous places like Grimoire. In addition to restoring your HP and AP, they allow you to save your progress and access the prism case. Save crystals are places of peace and safety. When you see one, remember to save your progress because you never know what dangers lie around the next corner. Okay, so we will save. And we'll see how far we can get. So let's continue on our little journey, talking to these people. If you get poisoned in battle, the toxins will gradually drain your HP. Make sure you deal with poison early by using an antidote. Here, this one's for you. Thank you! I don't have an antidote. I appreciate that. Chapter 3. Old Acquaintances. Okay, using the map, press minus when in a dungeon displays a map of your surroundings. Not only does the map help you get your bearings, but it also lists your destination, the location of the gates and save crystals, and even includes a list of mirages that you've discovered nearby. You can unlock each map as soon as you enter an area. She said the nether nebula is somewhere northeast of Cornelia, right? Time to go hustle and rustle a little mirage muscle. Just don't hustle so much that you get yourself lost, okay? I might just leave you there. <laughs> When's the last time I got... Don't push it. Okay. We obtained three potions. The cuteness is real, so... Wow, the air here is so clean. Mm. Yeah, right? A Yahoo! No, no, Rain, you need to shout for it to work. Yahoo! So that's where we're supposed to go this direction. Oh my gosh, the music is so pretty! Well, that's where we're supposed to go, so I guess... I'll go back here and see if I missed anything up here. So kawaii, so great, uh, great pick for a member select, select stream, Pokewood Theater. Uh, you always surprise us with your, your picks and like this is a lot of fun and I, uh, I'm having, I'm very happy playing this. This is a very cool game. Uh, you guys should definitely check this out. This is, um... I forgot the name of the game already. Final Fantasy, World of Final Fantasy Maxima. So, uh, again, like you guys probably know, but Pokewood Theater, this is his member select stream. And um, it's a really cool game, actually. Um, yeah, we started at 8 o'clock, so we it's almost been two hours. Yeah, let's not mess around in the never neba thing a nabob. Never nebula. Do you think you can do something about that habit of forgetting the name of virtually everything? Alright, I think this is like oh, a... Here's another gate. That's the right. Gates, they usually turn up in towns or at the start of most mirage-infested areas. You never have to travel far to the visit a place you've been. Whenever you want to get from point the A to point the B, just use the gate as a handy little shortcut. A shortcut, huh? So, like, if we wanted to go back to Cornelia right this instant, we could just take this gate back to Ninewood Hills, then we can take the gate from there to Cornelia. You see? All in all, it makes for a pretty short shortcut. Yeah! If it were hair, you'd have to call it... You'd have to call it a buzz cut! Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, well, I think everybody has seen a lot of this game, so... I mean, you're, we're gonna have a whole dungeon area there. 
Um, so, yeah, I think this is a good stopping point because we can always do another stream of this game if we so choose. Maybe Luke will want to do another stream of the game. So, <laughs> so I think this is a good stopping point. Um, I don't know if you can, like, you can't save from here, but maybe I can go to the gate and save. Oh, I can save. But maybe I can go... Maybe I can go back to town. So you can go here. Well, we might as well try it. You can go back here, so... Yeah, so I think this is a good, um... Good stopping point. We'll go back into town and... One of your mirages has learned the stroll ability. It will follow you around in the field, just as the llamas you included in your lineup. Speaking of the witch, I have that ability too. So if you all... Alright guys and gals, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, everybody... Thank you so much, uh, Pokewood Theater, for an amazing member select stream. And, um, who knows? Maybe we'll do another stream of this sometime. Um, it's, I mean, who knows? I'll definitely tell Luke how much fun I had doing it, and he can obviously watch the stream. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's great to see everybody in the chat. Thank you again to all of our, um our uh, members, our patrons, and everybody. I was trying to do, like, a little plug there. Okay, there we go. Um, don't forget to, you know, subscribe if you like this stuff, but also uh, thank you so much to um, all of our members, and uh, especially our ultimate members. Um, thank you guys so much. And our patrons there, and um, all you have to do is hit the join button if you want to become a member. And especially, thank you so much to Pokey with Theater, one of our longtime ultimate members. And thank you so much for your generosity and for sponsoring the stream. So I hope you guys all have a great day. And it was really fun playing um, World of Final Fantasy Maxima. So anyway, have an awesome night. And thank you again, Pokewood, for an amazing uh, member select stream. Have a great night, everyone. God bless. And happy gaming. See ya.